It could it be Wexcon or Lego or books? Could it be Babylon's Pokemon and unicorns? I hope it's full of dolls. Can we all have looks? Does anyone ask me, hey, when is my birthday? Can I drive a car? Do I like jeans? No, all of this can act. No, no all of this. No, all this. No, this is what's, what's in the sack? sack? He said, I can write me some new jeans. What's in the sack? That's all I care about. We hope it's not broccoli. It's made of the socks. We all want your clothes. We are handy at the low. We hope it's not cold or a sack or rocks. Do they ask him where he's been? Oh, how is he doing? Do they ask me what's new or if I have a sore back? No, all of this can ask him is what's in the sack. What's in the sack? I'm blowing my stack at the next one who asks me what. Oh no, not you too. Come back. I want to be an elf by kindergarten and grade one.
We're in grade three class and we're singing Viva students of Nicholson. 2020 has been a strange year and we are ready to move into a new year. Our class is separated into small groups to share with you our thoughts about this holiday. All the students in our class have rewritten popular holiday songs and poems to reflect their feelings and events this holiday season. Oh, the pandemic outside is frightful, but the fires are so delightful. And since you know a place to go, let us go, let us go, let us go. It doesn't seem like it's stopping, and I guess there's no more shopping. And now we have Zoom to download. Let us go, let us go, let us go. We finally say goodbye. How I love to go to my dorm. Can't wait to go say hi. The killer bees will soon swarm. We're all slowly dying, and my dear, it's multiplying. And since you've no place to go, let us go, let us go, let us go. You know, Dasher and Dancer and Prancer and Vixen, Comet and Cupid and Donner and Blitzen, but do you recall the most famous reindeer of all? Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer, reindeer had a very shiny nose, like a light bulb. And if you ever saw it, saw it, you would even say it glowed like some Christmas lights. All of the other reindeer, reindeer, used to laugh and call him names. Hey, Pinocchio! They never let poor Rudolph, Rudolph, play in any reindeer game, like Monopoly. Then one foggy Christmas Eve. Santa came to say in his underwear, Rudolph, <laughs> with your nose so bright, won't you guide my sleigh tonight? Then all the reindeer loved him, as they shouted out with glee, <laughs> Rudolph the red-nosed reindeer, you'll go down in his story. Language arts, we have been looking at poems and rhythm and rhyme. Some of us have written haikus that express our feelings this holiday season. Merry Christmas, guys. I've been super duper bad. No presents for me. I am a bad boy. I hope Santa takes pity on me. I am a sad boy. <laughs> New Year, the COVID is behind us. Think of all the cheer when COVID cannot find us. Fun and laughs will come. The 
vaccine is coming soon. Next week, next month, soon. Christmas 2021 is almost here. Hope you have a good next year. We wish you a 2021. We wish you a 2021. We wish you a 2021. And a happy new year. Merry Christmas, dude. Santa's coming to my house for Christmas. Stay back, man. COVID. That is it for our part of 2020 Christmas concert. We hope you enjoyed it. We hope you all have the best holidays you can. Next year, we'll have much more to celebrate together. Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year! I said it. The Grinch Stole Christmas by Dr. Seuss Performed by Nicholson Elementary's Grade 4 Fives Every year down in Newville I But the Grinch, who lived just north of Whoville, did not. The Grinch hated Christmas the whole Christmas season. Now please, don't ask why. No one quite knows the reason. It could be his head wasn't screwed on just right. It could be perhaps that his shoes were too tight. But I think that the most likely reason of all may have been that his heart was two sizes too small. But whatever the reason, his heart or his shoes, he stood there on Christmas Eve hating the Who's. Staring down from his grinchy from his cave with a sour grinchy frown at the warm lighted windows below their town. For he knew every who down in Whoville beneath was busy now hanging a mistletoe wreath. And they're hanging their stockings. He snarled with a sneer. Tomorrow's Christmas, it's practically here. Then the Grinch with his Grinchy fingers, nervous drumming. I must find some way to stop Christmas from coming. For tomorrow he knew, All the who girls and boys would wake bright and early and rush for their toys and then Oh the noise, oh the noise, 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 noise. That's the one thing he hated. The noise! 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 Then the Who's young and old would sit down to a feast. And they'd feast. And they'd feast. And they'd feast. 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 They would feast on who pudding in rare who roast beast. Which was something the Grinch couldn't stand in the least. Then they do something he liked the least of all. Every who down in hoof, the tall and the small would stand close together with Christmas bells ringing. They would stand hand in hand, and the hoods would start singing. 
they'd sing and they would sing and they'd sing 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 and the more the Grinch thought of this who Christmas sing the more the Grinch thought I must stop this whole thing why for 53 years I've put up with it now I must stop this Christmas from coming but how then he got an idea an awful idea. The Grinch got a wonderful, awful idea. I know just what to do. The Grinch laughed in his throat. And he made a quick Santa Claus hat and a coat. And he chuckled and clucked. What a great Grinchy trick. With this coat and this hat, I look just like Saint Nick. All I need is a reindeer. The Grinch looked around, but since reindeers are scared, there was none to be found. And did that stop the old Grinch? No. The Grinch simply said, If I can't find a reindeer, I'll make one instead. So he called his dog Max. Then he took some red thread and he tied a big horn on the top of his head. Then he loaded some bags and some empty old sacks on a ramshackle sleigh and he hitched up old Max. The grin then the Grinch said Get up. And the sleigh started down toward the homes where the Who's lay a snooze in their town. All their windows were dark, quiet, snow filled the air. All the Who's were all dreaming sweet James without care. When he came up to the first little house uh, on the square, this is stop number one. The old Grinchy Claus hissed, and he climbed to the roof, empty bags in his fist. Then he slid down the chimney, a rather tight pinch. But if Santa could do it, then so could the Grinch. He got stunk only once for a moment or two. Then he stuck his head out of the fireplace flue where the little Who's stockings all hung in a row. These stockings he grinned, are the first things to go. He slithered and slunk with a smile most unpleasant. Um, Around the whole room he took every present. Pop guns. And bicycles? 
Roller skates. Drums. Checkerboards. Tricycles. Popcorn. And plums. And he stuffed them in bags. The Grinch very nimbly stuffed all the bags one by one up the chimbly. Then he sclunked into the ice box. And he took the Who's Feast. He took the Who Pudding. He took the Roast Beast. He cleaned out the ice box as quick as a flash. Why, that Grinch even took their last can of hoo hash. Then he stuffed all the food up the chimney with glee. And now, Grand the Grinch, I will stuff up the tree. And the Grinch, and the Grinch grabbed the tree and he started to shove. When he heard a small sound like the cow of a dove. He turned around fast and he saw a small who. Little Cindy Lou who. Who was not more than two. The Grinch had been caught by this tiny who daughter who'd get out of bed for a glass of cold water. She stared at the Grinch and said, Santa Claus, why, why are you taking our Christmas tree? Why? But you know, that old Grinch was so smart and so slick, he thought up a lie. He thought it up quick. Why, my sweet little tot. The fake Santa Claus lied. There's a light on this tree that will light on one side. So I'm taking it to my workshop. Home to my workshop, my dear. I'll fix it up there. Then I'll bring it back here. And his fib fooled the child. Then he patted her head. And he got her a drink and he sent her to bed. And when Cindy Lou Who went to bed with her cup, he went to the chim chimney and stuffed the tree up. Then the, then the last thing he took was the log for the fire. Then, then he went up the chimney himself, the old liar. There's nothing left there, on their walls, he left nothing but hooks and some wire. And the one speck of food that he left in the house was a crumb that was even too small for a mouse. Then he did the same thing to other whose houses. Leaving crumbs much too small for the other whose mouses. Whose quarter passed on. All the who's still a bed. All the who's still a snooze. When he picked up his sled, 
packed it up with their presents. The ribbons. The wrappings. The tags. And the tension. The trimmings. The trappings. A thousand feet up. Up the side of Mount Crumpet. He rode with his low to the tip top to dump it. Poo poo to the who's. He was grinchily humming. They're finding out that now that no Christmas is coming, they're just waking up. I know what they'll do. Their mouths will hang open a minute or two, then the who's down in Whoville will all cry boo hoo. That's a noise. Grin, grin the Grinch. That I simply must hear. So he paused, and the Grinch put his hand to his ear, and he did hear a sound rising over the snow. It started in low, then it started to grow. But the sound wasn't sad. Why, this sound sounded merry. It couldn't be so. But it was merry. Merry. He stared down at Whoville. The Grinch popped his eyes. Then he shook. What he saw was a shock and surprise. Every who down who fell, the tall and the small was singing. Without any presents at all. He hadn't stopped Christmas from coming. It came. Somehow or other, it came just the same. And the Grinch, with his Grinch feet ice cold in the snow, stood puzzling and puzzling. How could it be so? It came without ribbons, it came without tags, it came without packages, boxes or bags. And he puzzled three hours until his puzzler was sore. Maybe Christmas. He thought. The Grinch thought of something he hadn't before. Doesn't come from a store. Maybe Christmas perhaps means a little bit more. And what happened then? Well, in Whoville, they say, the Grinch's small heart grew three sizes that day. The minute his heart didn't feel quite so tight, he whizzed with his load down the bright morning light. And he brought back the toys. And the food for the feast. And he, he himself, the Grinch carved the roast beast. 
Merry Christmas!